Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani has pleaded not guilty to nine felony charges in connection with an election subversion case out of Arizona. He was one of about a dozen people arraigned in Phoenix today. 18 people in total have been indicted, including former Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and John Eastman, the lawyer who advised Trump during his 2020 campaign. Prosecutors accuse them of attempting to overturn Trump's 2020 loss in Arizona. CBS News senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe is in Phoenix following all of this. Great to see you, Ed. Uh, there are a few big players, as I just named in this case. Who have you seen in court today? Lilia, good to see you. This was a, a, a court proceeding designed to bring most of those 18 charged in for their formal arraignment. John Eastman, who was an attorney for Donald Trump and pushed to the idea that fake electors, so-called fake electors, could upend the results and send it back to the states, was arraigned last week. Mark Meadows, the former White House chief of staff you mentioned, is being arraigned next month. Just about everybody else was to show up today in person or virtually, and most of them did. The most notable name on the list that was expected today was the former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani. And instead of appearing in person, he literally phoned it in. He was one hour and 17 minutes late to the beginning of the court proceedings. They'd gone through everybody else. And then suddenly his voice boomed into the courthouse from wherever he is uh, to face the charges. Prosecutors uh, got the judge to slap a $10,000 bond on Giuliani for failing to appear today, saying he has 30 days to show up at the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and present himself to face the charges or face that fine. Part of the reason is because this entire group was indicted in late April and the Attorney General's Office had failed in the week since to serve Giuliani as he, in the words of the prosecutors at least, evaded them or, or avoided them mm -hmm. uh, both at his home in New York and in other places. They were able to serve him that subpoena Friday night outside his 80th birthday party. Uh, and the expectation was he would then appear today. He instead phoned it in, telling the judge he couldn't make it, uh, would be working on finding an attorney. They're all facing charges of fraud, conspiracy, and forgery in attempts to overturn the results of Arizona's presidential elections. 11 electoral votes in this state. They voted, a group of them, as so-called fake or alternate electors. Uh, Arizona prosecutors now saying they did that to try to upend the results of the election. Obviously, Rudy Giuliani, Mark Meadows, John Eastman don't live in and weren't considered Arizona Republican electors, but they're charged as part of a conspiracy mm. encouraging people in this state to do so. Perhaps the most notable names uh, among Grand Canyon residents are Kelly Ward and her husband, Michael. She's the former head of the state Republican Party. Their attorney says this was simply an, a form of protest, a First Amendment protected activity by a group of people concerned about the results whether or not they had been properly tabulated, and that in their view, there has been no crime committed, and the state is merely doing this for political reasons. Lilia. Wow, the accusations are remarkable. Ed, uh, there, this is not the only case or similar case. Uh, can you talk to us about the significance of this one and how it could affect investigations in other states? Right, remember, Arizona is one of at least five states we know of actively investigating or prosecuting so-called fake electors for trying to upend the results. Michigan and Georgia are probably the biggest, most notable other ones. Georgia, of course, has its election interference case continuing. In that case, former President Trump is charged. Here in Arizona, he's not, but the 58-page indictment makes several references to an unindicted co-conspirator who happened to be a former president who they believe was actively pushing this scheme. He, of course, has denied wrongdoing. And today in open court, Giuliani questioned whether this entire case is merely designed, along with other ones across the country, to discredit Trump as he continues running for president. But there are concerns not only about when it, what went on in 2020, and that's why it's being investigated at the state level in at least five states, and it, of course, is the federal case uh, facing the former president, but there's concern about what it could mean for this year's elections and whether similar schemes will be cooked up across the country. Lilia. Ed, thank you so much.